Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my spaceship. In this video we are creating a glass dispersion material in Blender and yeah, let's go. Okay, I imported a model so we can create our glass material. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is drag this up here, press N to hide that stuff on the right side there. Change this one to shader editor <coughs> and create a new material. Okay, let's drag this up a bit more. And we don't need the principal BSDF, so we delete it with X. Now we're gonna press Shift A, search, and search for Refraction BSDF. We need this one three times. Duplicate this one three times. Add another mix shader. And we need this two times, so duplicate this one also. Now we're gonna drag the first two Refraction BSDF in the first mix shader. And then we're gonna combine these into another mix shader. Drag this one into the surface. Another thing we need is another mix shader. So we're gonna add another one and add a glass BSDF. Okay, now we're going to change the colors from the first Refraction BSDFs. <coughs> the first one got the color red, so go over to RGB and just drag everything to zero here, except the red. And the second one, we're going to drag red to zero and blue. So we only got green and, and the next one we only want to have the blue. Okay, let's change the first IOR to 1.4, the second to 1.45 and the third to 1.5. Okay, let's see what we got here. Go over to the rendered view. We see nothing here. We're going to change the render properties to cycles and go over to the world properties here. We are going to make the background black for now. Go to the side view, hit shift A and add a light source. So we add an area light, uh, press R to rotate it. We need a light from the back here. Uh, press S to scale it up and G to move it uh, in the back of the shoe here. So we go over to the front view and yeah, we got something. Yeah, this material works really good if you scale down the light source a bit and just stretch it to one side. For example, like this here. Drag it down a bit and increase the power to something like 1000. Now we can make it even smaller. Okay, let's say we want to make the background white now. So we choose the background here in the world settings, drag it all over to white and increase the strength to something like five. Now you can see that there is not much happening here because the um, reflections of the black aren't here anymore and it looks kind of really transparent now. <coughs> But we can fix this. Let's create a new sphere. Mesh UV sphere. Make it really big so it doesn't cover the light source we created. Mm. Go over to the object mode here and create a new material <coughs> for our sphere. So we make this one black and go over to the uh, object properties Go over to visibility and um, disable the ray visibility for the camera. So the sphere is not visible for the camera, but all the reflections um, are still there. Another thing we want to do is go over to the viewport display and display as bounce. <coughs> okay. 
And you can play around with these values here. Um, for example, the roughness in a refraction BSDF, change it to something like 0.3. So it's not that transparent. You can change the IOR and as you see, it changes the whole look of it. Yeah. And again, the light source is really important here. So if you change this, you get completely different results. Usually making it smaller looks really good here. Okay, that's it for the video. I hope you liked this one. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we created a really nice uh, glass dispersion material here. Um, and instead of using the glass BSDF, we used the refraction BSDF to get these results here. So I hope you like this one. Have a nice day. Peace.